In this lecture, we're going to talk about how to use serialize function in PHP. So, what is a serialize function? This function converts a storable representation of the value. To serialize data means to convert a value to sequence of bits so that it can be stored in a file, a memory buffer, or transmitted across a network. Serialization encodes object into another language. For example, let's say you have an array and in this array you have some values. So you have key name and value James. And then in this array you have key birthday and you have a date here. And now you want to store this array or you want to send this data to another application. There are several languages choices, but the idea is the same. The array has to be encoded or you can say a translated into text or bytes that can be written to a file or sent via network. So to serialize this array, we can use a serialize function. So I'm going to simply call here data variable and I'm going to call serialize function and specify this array here. This serialize function is going to return the serialized data to this data variable. And then I'm going to just print this data. So when you try to print this data, you're going to get the result something like this. This is the serialized data which we are going to send to the file or to another application. The result is not easily saved, read by human eye or sent via network. But it is also understandable to almost every other languages. Let's take a look at how we can deserialize this data. I'm going to just create here a variable un and specify unserialize function to it. And I'm going to pass this data to this parameter. Now when I execute this statement, try to print this variable, I'm going to have the result something like this. I'm going to have my array in this variable. So this function is going to unserialize this serialized data. The benefit of using this function is to transmit data between two applications or between two files. So this is very easiest way to transmit data using different applications. You could use different format as well if you want to serialize this data. You can use a JSON as well to encode this data in the JSON format. So basically serialization translate object to another language in case you want to store or share the data. There are many formats available to translate this data. You can use JSON, XML, bytes and so on. The simple way to use this function is when you transmit or share your data with another application. For example, let's say you fill a form and click on the submit button. When you click on the submit button, you're going to submit a data to the application. And let's say you want to share that data to another application, you can use serialize function for that. You can serialize your data like this and then deserialize it when you want to use it. Now, if you want, you can use a JSON as well. That's up on you. We'll talk about how to use JSON in the future lectures. But for now, I have a simple exercise for you. For an exercise, try to use serialize function to transfer a form data to another file using serialize function. You need to transfer your form data, serialize it, and then unserialize it and use it in the other file. So I hope you understand how to use this serialize function in PHP. If you like short videos like this, make sure to subscribe and like this video. I will see you in the next one.